extreme honor today. I have WWF legend Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Brutus, thank you for this time. My pleasure, man. How you doing? We haven't seen you in a while. What are you doing? What are you up to? Uh, I am touring the country and the uh, in Canada. Still, just still wrestling the independent circuits. Uh, doing a little uh, reality TV here and there. Um, lots of conventions, you know, and just having a good old time, strutting and cutting my way around the country, <laughs> just like I always have. We couldn't expect any more. Let me ask you, Bruce, you're, you're a legend and you're obviously an inspiration to many. What do you like about wrestling now compared to the way it was years ago? Well, really, uh, honestly, I don't really don't like anything about wrestling now. Um, it's just not even comparable to, to what it was 25 years ago, 20 years ago. Um, it's, a, it's a whole different ballgame. I mean, I guess it's the nature of the business. Uh, the world times change, world change, people change. Wrestling business changes. Doesn't mean I have to like it. Doesn't mean it's for the good, or, or, or you know, in the situation. I, you know, I happen to know a lot of people that consider it um, the way I feel about it. They they don't consider wrestling is better than it was. They they think it's it's worse. There's not storylines. There's not characters. There's no black and white good guy, bad guy now, everybody, he's a gray area. One week a guy's a good guy, and one week's a bad guy. One, one week this guy has a belt, next week this guy has a belt, next week this guy has a belt, next week this, but there's no, there's no champions for, for two, three years at a time with a, that hold the belt and, 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 and longevity and things like that. It's, it's, it's a bunch of, and it's a bunch of Hollywood uh, writers writing storylines for the business and people who don't know jack about wrestling telling wrestlers what to do, what to say, how to wrestle, come on. It's, it's quite evident when you watch it that, that uh, they don't know what they're doing. And, 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 and you know, as long as that's the case, as, that's, as long as that's the way business is going to be run, then it's going to be tough. And it's going to be tough for the guys to make a living. It's going to be tough. You know, there's, there's some top guys who really got talent and good guys on top, and they're going to they're going to prevail. They're going to do well, but it's going to be hard for the rest of the guys. Where do you think the turn changed from traditional to this new evolution that you're speaking of? It's hard to say. It was it, it's a slow slow process, but after in, once once it rolled past the 2000. Probably the last 11 years, I'd say. And once it rolled past 2000, then uh, things things really changed. It started changing, and uh, when they hired writers and stuff to to make storylines and tell wrestlers what to do, and, and, and in my opinion, they lost it. Well, is there are there any personal like young guys you see coming up that you like? Oh, there's there's good some good guys out there. You know, second generation, third generation wrestlers like Randy Orton. You know, and uh, who's a, who's a good hand? There's 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 some good talent out there. There's no doubt about it. But I, I just don't know if they're really being able to reach their true potential because they're not even allowing them to be themselves with, with people telling them what to do, what to say. I don't know how I, I could have never done that myself. I could have never functioned as a wrestler and went in the ring and and and, and, and done a daily basis of working like I did with somebody trying to tell me what to do. Those are golden words. Do you really think wrestling needs to go back to basics? Uh, I think so. Uh, I think they need to put a little more wrestling in the wrestling show. Amen to that. Well, Brutus, we're going to ask you one last question. We ask all our guests this. What advice do you want to give to someone who wants in this business or someone new in the business? <laughs> someone who wants in this business. Well, if you're not 6'9 and 320 pounds, 350 pounds, uh, I tell them to uh, go to college, uh, go to uh, go to school, get an education, learn how to fix computers, uh, join the army. <laughs> because I wouldn't waste my time trying to be a wrestler because you ain't gonna make it, and you ain't gonna make no money. You're gonna be poor, and you're gonna make your family suffer. Something very true to live by. Well, Brutus, we thank you for this time. We know you're a busy man. Again, it's been really a true honor having you on here. Fans, you know who he is. Keep following him. Until then, Brutus, you have a good day. Fans, stay tuned.